did you ever look at what Kurt was doing on WWE programming and think, well, maybe there's a way to make a bunch of money and, and keep my orbital bones where they belong. I mean, does that ever <laughs> even cross your mind? Well, I had no illusions that, that the job that Kurt was doing week in, week out, night after night was any easier than me going in that cage every couple months and getting potentially get punched or kicked in the head. The, the grinding, grueling schedule that those guys in pro wrestling keep is no joke. And yeah. I think Kurt can attest to that. Uh, you know, so, you know, I think because of our, my collegiate wrestling roots and then already being involved in MMA, uh, I, it never really appealed to me. It just didn't, I don't know any other way to say it. Well, Randy, <laughs> you, um, you were, you were a heavyweight champion. What made you make the move, the light heavyweight champion? What reason for that? Well, I had lost that fight to Josh Barnett and I had lost the fight to Rigo Rodriguez. Uh, I wasn't the heavyweight champion. I was a small heavyweight anyway, walking around at 220. Yeah. Um, I threw it out there. They had already scheduled me to fight my the last fight on my contract with Andre Orlovsky in the heavyweight division. I had thrown it out there to Joe Silva and company saying, hey, I, you know, I can make 205 if, if there's a chance or, or you're interested in me coming down and fighting a light heavyweight, I can make that pretty easily. Um, I was scheduled to fight Andre. Andre broke his hand three weeks before that fight. And the same time this was going on in, in the light heavyweight division, Chuck and, and Tito, Tito was the champ. Chuck was the number one contender. For whatever reason, they couldn't make that fight happen. And Chuck was pissed off. He wanted his shot. Tito was like, oh, we're friends. I, I, we always agreed we'd never fight. Um, so they were in the process of stripping Tito of his title. And they asked me if I, you know, since I wasn't going to fight Andre because of the broken hand, would I fight Chuck at light heavyweight for the interim championship gotcha. while they kind of got Tito out of there and, and gave Chuck his shot? I said, yeah, I'll do that. Again, I think they expected my old ass was just going to get beat by Chuck. <laughs> um, and, and Chuck would be the interim champ. That would put more pressure on Tito to have to fight him to unify the belt and, and the titles. Obviously, again, I was the monkey wrench. Uh, I, you wrecking I had, all the plans, Randy. <laughs> I beat Chuck, and, and now I'm the interim champ. Uh, <laughs> and so they, they said, hey, we want you to fight Tito right away, re, you know, unify the, the, the belts. And I said, okay, that sounds great. And so three months later, I ended up fighting uh, Tito to unify the interim championship and the, and the championship belt. And, and now I'm the light heavyweight champion. So uh, again, kind of on a whirlwind. And I was the fly in the ointment for, for the company, for sure. 